Hi, Paul. How are you? Well, thank you. Good. Would you like to tell me one of your stories about being bullied? Yes, I would. I was forced yeah, to live with this girl in um, independent living, and then when I was living with her, I never got on well with her, and then she used to bully me a lot. She used to um, bully me and then tell me what to do, and then she used to ring up my job and then t tell me that it was my job yet yeah, to clean the place. If she found a bit of dirt on the floor or a dirty glass, or, or else if the bin was smelly, she used to get the bin and then throw it outside and said it was my job yeah, to clean that. And then she used to lose her temper and then bang my door and then she used to kick it sometimes. And then the staff yeah, came to, to um, solve the problem with us and uh, have a meeting. And then when we had the meeting, they told us to get on together and stop fighting. And then after that, it stopped here yeah, for six months. And then six months later, it was back to A1 again. Yeah, she used to yeah, ring my job still. And then she used to say that the place was dirty and then I'm not cleaning it. And then you have to do it yourself. And um, when I came home, yeah, she used to be giving out to me a lot. So I wasn't happy living there. So I just said to myself at the weekends, I would go out at 10 o'clock in the morning and then I wouldn't come back yeah, till about 8 o'clock at night yeah, before the night staff came on duty yeah, because I wasn't happy living there with her. And how did it make you feel, Paul? Uh, I was very upset and then I was... Um, distressed uh, a lot and then I brought it up at the anti-bullying group and then later on the anti-bullying group said that they could help me with something so they helped me to get out of the, the independent living and then to get a place in um, Navinia to live um, they you helped me to um, get the funding yeah from the HSE and from the organisation and then after that Claire helped me yeah, to get a loan yeah, from the credit union and then they gave me a loan for seven years and then I paid yeah, for the apartment out of my own money and now I'm living there four years and then I interviewed my own um, supporter and then he's four years with living with me and his name is Brian. And Tell us what would you like to tell people that bully people? What would you like to tell bullies? I would tell them that uh, bullying it, it is um, very important and then people you yeah, shouldn't let pe other people abuse them in life. That they, they, they have no business yeah, bullying them yeah, or abusing them in life. And then if they come up to you, you just ignore them and then put up your hand and then say, stop bullying. It's not nice. And walk away yeah, from them and just ignore them. You, you go and then get, get um, support from someone and then ask them to solve your problem. And then go to the right person, yeah, who you can trust. Yeah, not the person that you don't trust. You have to go like your manager or your friend or someone in your family might help you with your problem.